The topic of motorcycles will be discussed in today's episode as we contrast two excellent YouTube channels, Itchy Boots and Ride to Food, both of which are hosted on YouTube. Let's dig deeper into these channels and learn more about the incredible ladies that run them. Norley, a skilled rider who owns Itchy Boots and has clocked an incredible 100,000 kilometers on the road while traversing the world on her motorcycle, is the rider who is responsible for its operation. Norley's birthday is May 2nd, and she was born in the Netherlands in 1988. Before setting out on her trip across the world on a motorcycle, she finished her studies and earned a master's degree in geochemistry. In 2018, Norley made the decision to quit her job in order to follow her interest in traveling full-time. Itchy Boots is the name of her YouTube channel, which is dedicated to travel-related blogs documenting her trips. Ride to Food, which is operated by Stacy Wilt and may be found on the other side, since she started riding motorcycles in 2011. Stacy has traveled more than 150,000 miles across the United States and Mexico on her two wheels. As someone who rides motorcycles on a regular basis, she takes pleasure in seeing new places and having new experiences, whether she does so on two wheels or on foot. The purpose of Stacy's project, Ride to Food, is to disseminate the experience and expertise she has accumulated over the years, to call attention to places that are absolute must-sees, and to encourage other women to break societal norms in their own unique ways. She has a strong desire to effect positive change in the communities of people who travel, adventure, and ride motorcycles. Now, let's pit these channels against one another in a competition. 1. Impressive channel statistics show that Itchy Boots has 1.45 million subscribers and about 284 million total views. Although it is a relatively minor channel, Ride to Food has approximately 22,500 subscribers and a cumulative view count of over 1.4 million. Itchy Boots is now in the driver's seat for this round. 2. Revenue generation Norley's Itchy Boots brings in roughly $600,000 annually, while Ride to Food brings in approximately $130,000 annually in revenue. This match is a resounding victory for Norley. 3. Development of the channel Ride to Food was launched in September 2018 and has made significant advancements since that time. Itchy Boots was started a month later, in November 2018, making it 10 times larger than Stacy's channel. The channel has had excellent development since its inception. The current round was won by Norley. 4. Areas of expertise While Norley has a wealth of knowledge in the sport of motorcycling in a variety of locations, Stacy's content is mostly centered on the continent of North America. Itchy Boots is currently in first place after this round, thanks to Norley's wide range of experiences. 5. Stacy excels in this category since she is not only a writer, also studies journalism and wildlife photography, works as a marketing consultant. In addition, she has a wide range of interests, experiences. It is admirable that she is so committed to chasing after her goals. Stacy comes out on top in this match. In spite of the fact that Norley and Stacy excel in their individual spheres, it is quite evident that motorcycling is the activity that brings them the most joy. Stacy wants to dispel the stereotypes that are commonly held about women and highlight the possibilities that they possess. Whereas Norley has amassed a global audience because of her endearing personality, high-quality content that she produces. In the end, the choice of which station consumers like to watch comes down to personal preference. Both of these ladies are exceptionally talented in their respective fields and provide stuff that is refreshingly original. In the comments section, you are welcome to share your ideas and let us know which option is your favorite. Please click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and continue checking back for more engaging material if you found this video entertaining. You're very welcome, and I hope you have a wonderful day.